day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to ring the alarm bells. V Chain is in an apex. We're very likely to see a big move with V Chain in the near future here. So, in this video, I'm going to run through some tactical analysis. Uh, with VeChain, talk about what I see happening both short term and long term. Uh, don't you worry, there's a lot of lines here, but we're going to simplify it, uh, make this understandable. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give my bull run price prediction. So make sure you stick around. So, guys, if you like the sound of that, you got to like, subscribe, comment, and share, and hit that bell icon to notify the new uploads because we, we've been killing it on this channel. Uh, you know, we're making money, our long term bags are doing good, um, and we've been calling we've been calling these breakouts pretty much for the T. So make sure you stay tuned to this channel, guys. Mandatory viewing content. So, kind of describe what's going on with VeChain here. A few, th a few uh, things we need to keep in mind here. We're kind of in this broadening, ascending uh, channel here, okay? As well, more of a micro ascending tra uh, channel here with this green line. Let's extend this some more. With this green line and this green line here as well. I currently believe we're in a pitchfork uh, situation here, taking the bottom of this movement, the peak, and then the retracement. We can clearly see how VeChain has been kind of respecting uh, the boundaries of this pitchfork here uh, as well. So that the reason why I want to make this video here, guys, is because we're in an apex. If we take this resistance line here and this kind of a channel line here, we're in an apex, which means we're likely to have a breakout soon. Whatever we break out, we're likely to trend in that direction for quite some time. So I think uh, VeChain is going to see a big move in it within the next two days here. Now, let's assume we break down. I think we're likely to test the lower extremities of this uh, broadening channel here, kind of at, you know, two eight cents. You know, I, I think that's kind of the most likely scenario at this point. If we break down as well, we need to keep an eye out for the 100 EMA on the six hour. We can clearly see how every time we try to break down, we find support on it. So I'd wager that we'd like to find at least temporary support if we break down again in the future. Um, so keep an eye out for the 100 EMA on the six hour. But guys, let's assume we break up bullishly, which the market is crazy bullish right now. I do think that's a very good chance we break up bullishly. Could we retail? Could we go to the four or five cents soon? I think we can. I think that's definitely possible. Test the upper extremities of this pitchfork. I think that is totally possible uh, in the short to midterm here. So, guys, for those of you who don't know, VeChain is a cryptocurrency that aims to improve supply supply chains and logistics through tracking on the blockchain. That is a massive, massive industry. It is by far its leader in its niche. It already has massive partnerships with BMW, Walmart China. It's growing all the time. Guys, we recently got token metrics. Token metrics ranked it highly uh, in terms of year-long investing. I cannot say enough good things about VeChain. Um, guys, I made a video, a video about VeChain uh, a few weeks ago, back when it was just under two uh, I had it in my top three altcoins list uh, for, um, for 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 top cryptocurrencies for this bull for this bull run. So you know, if we take you know, let's say it was just about two cents, it's increased roughly 60%, 50% since I made that video. So guys, you got to stay tuned to this channel. We've been killing it. And I'm telling you right now, we're in an apex, likely to see a big move soon. If we break down, we, we're likely testing uh, this green line here and this 100 EMA on the six hour. If we break up, I think we're seeing uh, well over four cents soon. Uh, let's take a look here at our indicators. Um, indicators in the four hour, MACD going down, RSI making higher lows. And lower highs, stochastic on the way up. You know what? Let's take a look at the larger time frame. I want to get a sense of the big, big macro movement. Okay, so MACD ticking down, kind of concerning here. We might have a bearish crossover. RSI, lower highs, stochastic on the way down, and momentum is on the way down. So, based off the daily here, guys, we could very well break down and retest the lower extremities of this broadening wedge here and kind of the, the 100 EMA on the six hour. I think it's very likely. Uh, if we break down, ultimately, while our indicators are helpful, we are in an apex, so we, we really just need to see what way we break out of this thing. But the daily uh, looks like we're in a downtrend. Now let's take a look at the six hour. Six hour MACD down, same, same situation, stochastic on the way down. Let's take a look at the four hour again. Yeah, so the only saving grace for V chain I see on the larger time frames right now is the stochastic on the four hour. Stochastic seems to want to have that leg up, bullish crossover on the way up. Yeah, MACD is not even ticking up right now. Let's, is this the, uh, yeah. So, the VeChain is not looking too hot on the larger time frames. Hmm. Yeah, so guys, we we don't look too good on the lower time frames. Um, based off of like the daily and the six hour, I do think there's a chance that we break down here. 
but ultimately we really just need to see what way we break out we could definitely break out bullishly we could break out bearishly uh we we really just need to see what what way we break out here so we need to wait wait for the breakout in my opinion uh whatever way we break out i would be uh, looking to either trade or add to my add to my bags uh based off the breakout point uh again also we can see a peak in volume right around the 100 ema on the six hour again so again i think it's going to be a critical ema to look out for if we break down these uh the the 100 ema on the six hour is where i would be looking to add to my long-term bags and I do think VeChain is a long-term hold, in my opinion, guys. Uh, I, I'm, if you've been waiting around, I'll give my bull run price predictions. I think we're going to hit 50 cents to a dollar at the peak of this bull run. Uh, I don't know that for sure, guys. No one knows for sure how high these, these coins are going to go or when this bull run is going to peak out. But I do think it's probable that this bull run ends around the end of 2021. And I do think it's probable that VeChain hits 50 cents to a dollar at the peak of this bull run. So, guys, if you like this video... Please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and hit that bell icon to be notified of new uploads. Check out our, our Rarible, our, our Twitter, our Discord. Link for all that down in the description below. Uh, make sure you stay tuned to this channel, guys. I'll wrap it up here. Take care, everyone.